Okay, we're back here and we've got this car delivered. So now let's take a minute and get this skated back off the truck. So we're gonna put the PTO in gear. Oops, parking brake on there, I did it backwards. Sometimes the PTOs are finicky. There it goes. Reminds me of the old days. I used to like the uh, the old handful PTOs. Today they're all electric or air. And I'm old school. I like the ones where I reach down and I pull the knob up. Kind of miss those days. Okay, we're gonna roll the bed back just like always first. Get it to our pivot point here with our red arrow. Then go ahead and tilt it up. Let that ICC bumper touch, and then we'll start taking our chains off. Or not our chains, I guess I should say, is our straps. This here. Yeah, see, I'm not in a pattern of doing this. It's a little bit different. Shouldn't have tilted this as far. I don't know why I tilted this far this time, but all right get that in there knock that down okay. all right that's got this one we'll get to our other side Take this third one off. And again, if you didn't have over the wheel straps, you'd still have your J chains and your, like we showed you on one of the other videos about using J chains and uh, cluster straps, which are typical on there. Uh, you know, you'd just be putting them up, putting them away as you're going. So again, I don't take my last one off my last, I call it a safety, that way if something fails, the car doesn't roll away from you, you still got a safety on it. We'll wait till it's on the ground. Yeah, and yeah. Usually, sometimes the skates will come out, but I noticed on these that they were really in there really good. We did a good job of rolling them up on there. If the skates weren't in there and they were loose, I would take them out, but on this one, we did a nice job. We made certain we rolled the car back really good and uh, got it to where they were in there really good. So in order to get them off, I need to roll the car backwards, which we're gonna do here in a minute. Uh, when we roll the car back, the skates will come out pretty easy, and then we'll put them on the back side. Okay, so now we're gonna take and roll the car backwards. We're gonna temporarily put that there. We need to go around the other side. This is a double walk back. So when I pull this one out, now I'm gonna pull the bed car forward because remember, we're on a bed now, I can't grab it and move it by my hand. So now I winch it back forward a little bit where it gets ready to, ready to start dragging. Then we'll put our skate in there. We'll go back around the other side. Put our skate in there. Now, as you see, the car the car rolled back a little bit and it rolled up onto the skate. You see that? You, you winch it back forward and then you let it roll up onto the skate when it's on the bed. A little bit of a little bit of slight variation here, but the point is to get that roll up on the skate. That's what makes it come off nice and easy. I think it's actually on the bed, you actually get a better roll with it because it's got resistance and you take it till it's 
you take it till it's all the way forward, then it gets way under there and gets your, breaks your resistance. You can see right now the car's actually just about stopped. See there, this may be one where we have to help it off, which is not, it's not terribly uncommon for that to occur. That's the reason I want to show you this stuff so that you know that you're not doing anything wrong. This is the normal part. So I'm gonna, again, I, I just am in the habit, I don't release until it's off the bed. That's just me. I'm gonna give it a little bit of push. It's on the skates. This one here is being stubborn. You go around the other side and well if it's a bigger vehicle that's a bad thing about skates is that the bigger they are the harder they are to get off um, get this bed all the way down I thought I was all the way down maybe that'll I'm gonna increase the bed angle I don't know if you saw me doing that but I increased the bed angle so to increase the help I've got as far as what the truck goes. Oh, come on. In a front wheel drive car, as you can see, on some of these vehicles, like a, that's the reason we don't take it up the bed any further than we absolutely positively have to. So again, the only thing that we can do at this point in time is to rock the bed to get it to come off. So what I'm going to show you to do is to create some, we're going to move the bed a little bit here. Um, what we're going to do is go back here and hopefully the car has a working parking brake. Most front wheel drives do. We'll apply the emergency brake. That keeps our rear wheels, rear wheels hopefully stationary. So what I'm doing right now is just dragging the bed out till we get all the way at the end. It looks like we're all the way at the end of the bed. Now what I'm going to do is go back in the car and we've got it off, right? I'm going to let the brake off. When the brake's off, the front wheels don't roll, but the rear wheels will now. So we're going to take the bed and push the bed back out all the way to the end. All right, we're on the ground there. We're going to go ahead and take the wire rope off of it. Oops, wrong one. Oh, wrong one. Look at me go. Okay, we're all the way at the end of the bed. We're gonna pull the bed out from underneath this thing. And unhook from it. And these skates should actually come out pretty easy right now. Oops. Let's go around the other side, take the mini J off. We'll take the skate off on this other side. pull the bed out from underneath the car. Oh, wait a second. That's we need to go back around. I'm sorry. I forgot to put the parking brake back on. And again, you know, I could, I can make these absolutely perfect and we could, uh, we could make them to where there's, I don't have any mistakes. That's not real world. You know, we all forget. We're all in there. We're hustling, trying to get to the next call. 
and we're just we're making honest errors and and I like making videos that are realistic so I hope you appreciate some of my mistakes because I expect you to make some of the similar ones that I do and to know that you're not you're not in the end any different than anybody else and this thing here is really being stubborn Try to pull that brake up a little more. May have to. Thought it would come back off there, but again, I'm even wrong. I'm gonna pull this thing back on. Oh, wait a second. Look at me go. I took the chain off. We're going to hook this thing back up again. I shouldn't have unhooked it before it was off the bed. That's my mistake. I can tell you of all the things that we do, this and unloading a car with skates or loading a car is not too bad. It's the unloading that is the real challenge and the real part that makes it makes it a real challenge to do this so in a way the chain is stuck stuck under the back of the bed that's why i got to bring it up a little bit in a way i'm kind of glad this is happening because you're getting to see the real trials of what it's going to be like out there on the side of the road because this is real world this isn't this isn't Hollywood or a perfect a perfect video by any means. Again, we're gonna roll it forward till they just about get ready to uh, start. Roll it forward to get just about ready where they're gonna start to slide. We'll shove our skates in there. Okay, let's go to the other side. See, look at this. I had that skate set in there already. Look how much we gain. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about an inch or so. Maybe two inches. And that'll roll back up on there and make it come off a lot easier. Okay. Did I... I'm making certain that I still have a parking brake on, and I do. Now we're going to do that procedure I just was trying to ship you there and I failed because I needed to get the skates back underneath it. So again, what I'm doing is sliding the bed forward and tilting it down, sliding it forward, tilting it down, taking off on a winch, tilting it down, sliding it forward. Okay, now we're finally out from underneath the tires. Um, I'm going to kick these skates out. I'm not going to bore you on the video see me unhook it. You've seen me do it a bunch of times by now. Again, the front wheel drive cars to me are the most challenging to unload and get on and get on's not bad. Getting off is the more challenging. You saw me. I wouldn't say struggle. That's just the way it goes when you're taking one off the bed. You just got to work through it. So you have to move the skates. You always have to pull it out the last little bit because it's not going to roll. We got up to here and it was still on by three or four feet. Once it gets out so far, you don't have a lot of momentum to make it roll or move. So sometimes you got to pull the bed out to the end of the bed. Then we let it back down, run the bed all the way out, get it back down on the ground, and then slowly inch the bed out just like we did. And that's a skate job. Not a fun job, but you've seen it here. Hopefully this helps you on the first car that you run across that's got no keys or anything like that, locked up for whatever reason. So I hope this helps. Again, practice this in private and you'll get it down to where you can do it and be executed very well. I'll catch you on the next video.